So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so this is the 920 Plus, which I've had for probably three years. And this thing, since the day I got it, the fans have been screeching. So I'm finally taking the time to update this. And we've got some new Noctua fans, and I'll show you how to put those in. So first thing is we want to take out our drives and we want to keep them in order. Next, we want to take out two screws on the back here, one here and one here. So now for the hardest part, you want to have the front of the case facing you, the back of the case facing away. Put your hand on the top lip on the back, your other hand uh, your thumb on the outside and then press gently. And then once you've done that, you can slide the side or the most of the case off actually. So next what you want to do is turn it on the side here. And so you can see there's two brackets that hold the fans in place. So we're going to remove those. And there's just one screw holding each in place. And then, so next we want to remove the four screws on each fan, so eight screws total, that are actually holding the fans in place. So next we want to pull out the power cables that are here on the bottom. And now the fans just come out, maybe. There we go. These are YS Tech brushless fans, which I don't know anything about at all. So now we have our Noctua fans. So they come with the fan, uh, some rubber noise isolating dampening plugs, and a bunch of cables to adapt to different situations. So basically we want the three pin adapter and most of them are extension cords, you could say. So basically three pin to three pin, but for different lengths. So we're going to see the cord actually looks long enough. We're gonna just install it and see if that fits. So it's a definitely a tight fit with the rubber corners on here. To actually get the holder to hold on, you actually have to remove 
the rubber grip from uh, this side over here. Once you've done the four screws there, time for the next fan. If you're unsure of how to point your fans, so on the top here, there's a little arrow and so that will point out for you. So now because these fans have the rubber on the corners, it is definitely a tighter fit. So once those are done, we have to remove the rubber corner again. And then we can put on our next bracket. Once you're done with that, make sure you reattach the power cables. Otherwise the fans don't work. And then time to put the cover back on. Oh, interesting. And it's the same way, slide the case to the side, then slide it back in. And then the next step is sticking your hard drives back in the way you took them out. And now you're set to plug it in and hopefully, and hopefully you have a super quiet Synology NAS now. That's it for today. You take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.